Hi, this is Seema and I am back with a new lesson on how to overcome or attack shyness. Well, what exactly is shyness? Uh, well, if you are one of those people who enter into a room full of strangers and you're kind of really awkward or sometimes you're very uncomfortable, sometimes you also feel your heart thumping really hard in your chest and you know you don't know what to do because you're really uncomfortable around people and with yourself so shyness is nothing but being uncomfortable with yourself especially in a social situation well i believe like every other problem the problem of shyness needs to be attacked aggressively so that it does not stop you from being the whole individual that you were meant to be well we need to know what exactly is shyness and what is the root of shyness uh, there are three main components or three facets uh, to shyness which means that if you are a shy person to the extent that your social life is is hindered you will face one or maybe all the three of these experiences the first one is self-obsession if you are a shy person you will be obsessed with yourself i call it the me syndrome well why do i call it the me syndrome i'm calling it the me syndrome because you it's all about you it's all about am i looking fat uh, am i not good enough am i doing the right thing did i say that too loud you know it's all about you you're focusing a lot on yourself and that is why you are overly self-conscious and that's what self-obsession does to you uh, then you have poor self-image uh, most shy people or can i say all of them have a poor to weak self-image uh, now a poor self-image could be very deep rooted it could be as uh, deep as your childhood experiences uh, to the time when you were rejected or maybe you know you were made fun of in school or at home or maybe your poor self-image uh, is attributed to the fact that you are not from a very affluent family or you do not really have the education that you desired um, and then you have magnifying one's negatives most shy people always uh, almost always uh, they focus on their negatives now all human beings uh, have their positives and their negatives so uh, you know there is going to be a point in time wherein you will not always be the the perfect person that people expect you to be but that's okay as long as you don't magnify your negatives but if you are a shy person you could uh, fall into the trap of maybe thinking that I'm too you know fat or maybe I'm too thin or maybe uh, you know I'm not really a good vocalist or I don't really have a nice voice so you're too much into you know doing the the negative accounting of your qualities that you really can't come out of yourself we will now see how to attack shyness because now we know what are the three facets or the three components that attribute to being a shy person now that we've seen the three main facets of shyness we need to know how to overcome or attack this problem head-on well stating the problem or defining the problem is the first step because i believe that a problem well defined is a problem already half solved so now that you know what is your problem you can deal with it better so maybe you're a person who is self-obsessed you are too you are too preoccupied with yourself maybe you're just magnifying your negatives or maybe you know you just have a poor self-image but that's all right because now we're going to deal with it effectively okay how do you do that you find your strengths as i explained to you before a person who is shy will always magnify their negatives so 
they will always look for their weaknesses and not their strengths. So what are your strengths? Maybe you're a good talker. Maybe you're a good listener. Maybe you're a person who is good at sports. Now, for some people like me, I may not be good at sports. I may not even be a good talker, but I could be a good listener. So when you find your strengths and identify them effectively, you can use them to your advantage in a social situation. Well, like I said, I may not be a good talker, so I may not be a person who says the most cleverest things in a social situation. I may not also be good at sports, but because I am a good listener and because listening effectively is one of my strengths, I can use it as an advantage. How do I do that? I can maybe, uh, you know, respond to people better in a social situation because I listen better. So people, when they tell me their their problems or you know what they what they went through, I can put myself in a position wherein I am using my strength to my advantage, and that will make me confident, and therefore I will become less shy. Uh, another thing we need to really uh, focus on is outside yourself. Uh, remember, I just talked about. A person who is shy is self-obsessed, which means he makes sure, he or she makes sure that the limelight is all over him. But I don't want the limelight to be over myself all the time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on situations, people, or maybe just the problem at hand. How do I do that? Now, if I were a shy person, it is natural for me to think about, you know, how I'm not good looking, how I'm not very good with something, or how I'm not, you know, very good at talking about something. But if I focus outwardly, I will maybe listen more to people. I will give them a chance to say what they want to say and be interested in what they have to say so that I can help them and therefore, in that social situation, I have the upper hand because now I am actively engaging in the conversation by being part of what the problem is, by being part of what the conversation really requires me to do. Um, affirmation. Well, we all need words of affirmation. Affirmation are nothing but positive words or positive thoughts. Uh, I believe that words carry an incredible, uh, you know, energy. So every time you tell yourself that you are a good for nothing, well, guess what? You know, all of that registers in your unconscious or your subconscious mind and you tend to act how you really feel. So it is very important that we tell ourselves words of affirmation so you can tell yourself that you are a good person you are a confident person because ultimately you will act the way you think what you think makes a very big impact on your life and therefore words of affirmation are very very important um and then this is the one of the most difficult parts about you know dealing with shyness or overcoming shyness it is dealing with an uncomfortable situation well a person who is shy will probably never ever deal with an uncomfortable situation so uh, you know if I am scared of doing public reading you know if I come in front of a class I may just freeze you know I may not know what to say but I need to decide doing all this first the, 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 the point one two three four if I do all of this then I'm in a position to deal with the situation. So uh, if I have understood my problem, if I have found out my strengths and identified them effective, effectively, if I have focused on things outside of myself and made myself confident, confident enough by being a positive person, now I'm in a position to maybe come up in front of a class, take my book, read, 
Now, understand one thing that when you face an uncomfortable situation, you are not going to feel like doing it. But once you are out there and once you deal with it, you will see that you are in a position to function in a more effective way. That's the only barrier to breaking your shyness by dealing with things. And this is one of the most important things, recording your success. How do you do that? You can keep a journal or maybe a notebook and, you know, just make a list of your, your success or the milestones that you have probably covered uh, you know with dealing with the problem of shyness so you could write things like maybe on the 20th of, of October you know you you did some public reading on on the 21st of December uh, you were at a social event and you participated actively so when you keep a record or a journal of your success in solving the situation it gives you confidence it boosts your your morale and you feel much better well, if you do all of this, I can assure you that you will overcome shyness. Uh, it could be in school, it could be uh, in your office, it could be in your social circle. But shyness is something that we need to deal with head on. And you can do it and become the whole individual that you were meant to be. Well, that's it from me on this lesson. I will be seeing you soon. Until then, goodbye.